You can give your family an out of this world experience this weekend. Here with more is Dean Regas from the Cincinnati Observatory. How are you doing? You're very good. Good afternoon. Well, good afternoon. Thanks for coming in. And, and oh my goodness, is this a big telescope or not so much? This is a small telescope, oh. but this is a good example of a telescope that'll let you see Jupiter very nicely. Jupiter is that really bright thing that's been out in the nighttime <laughs> that sky really lately. Thing in the sky. Uh, you can't miss it. It just looks like a plane or a UFO up there. Very bright. And a telescope like this will let you see some features and some moons, actually. It's a great little telescope, good starter one. So you have a, a good starter one. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. All right. So Jupiter is really close to us right now, at least Correct. close from that perspective. So you're having Jupiter nights. What's going to happen in those? Uh, well, it's a uh, kind of an open house at the observatory. People can come by Friday night and Saturday night from 8 to 10 o'clock, look at Jupiter up close and personal through the old telescope. We have the oldest telescope in the United States, and uh, everybody will get a chance to look through there and see things up close. You won't quite get views like what this. What is that? This is a really disgusting looking moon called Io. Uh, this is one of Jupiter's moons. It's all volcanoes. Here's a picture of Jupiter taken by the Hubble telescope. So uh, you get some, some good views of it, and there's a, a moon called Europa, the icy moon. Mm. Uh, uh, so we won't get views quite like that. We'll look through, uh, we'll be able to see the, the, the stripes like on the Jupiter. Uh -huh. Yeah, and this is, is Ganymede. That? This is another one of the moons. And so Jupiter has these four big moons that Galileo saw 400 years ago. And uh, this is a great weekend to come out and, and check it out. If you haven't been to the observatory and haven't seen Jupiter, you got to see those up close. Does it cost money? Yes, it's a $6 per person, and you can just drop in. So watch the weather. Uh, listen to what Larry has to say about the week. And uh, if it's going to be good Friday night, or Saturday night, come by either night. Do we want cloudless skies then? Yes, we want it to be as clear as possible because we want to see Jupiter nice and crisp and clear through that uh, October skies. And, and we'll also have the moon to look at too, so that's a great oh, thing yeah. to look for. Now, how old, okay, because I, you know I have kids, so how old should they be before it's really a, not a, you know, too young, this is too young, this is not? Well, this is an event that's great for all ages, so uh, it doesn't matter. The younger, the better, it doesn't matter to us. Uh, uh, all ages can come for this event because we'll be mostly looking through the telescope. So uh, there's not going to be long lectures by boring astronomers. We're going to get these telescopes <laughs> and we're going to point right up at the at Jupiter and they'll be able to see it. Do we need to make a reservation or just stop by? You said just stop by, right? Just stop by. No okay. reservations required. Um, and uh, yeah, it'd be a great weekend to see these big telescopes. Now, he brings this stuff every once in a while. <laughs> and I love this. What? Tell us about this. Uh, this is a giant meteorite that fell to Earth a long time ago. This is all iron and nickel, a very heavy so thing. I mean, for it's smaller than a bread, you know, a loaf of bread, but it weighs 14 pounds that is 14. and highly magnetic. Okay, so, so here's the there's magnet the magnet. Right here, Do right the here. magnet test. So Oops. a lot of meteorites are magnetic, and this one's just a this is a chunk of an old asteroid that fell to Earth. That is really cool. I mean, is it what you're, you're proud of your very prized possessions? This is one of my favorite ones, but I, I can't say that I own this. This is uh, one of our members donates this to us that we can take it out on the road. But uh, this is our smaller one. We also have two 50 pounders oh. at the observatory. And I, 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 I don't up. like to carry those around <laughs> with me. So <laughs> Next time you have to. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, definitely come by and see our collection because we have one of the best collections of meteorites in the in the country. Well, go see it this weekend because it's Jupiter nights. And to sign up for reservation, well, you don't have to sign up for reservations, but if you want to learn more, just go to WC. CPO.com, click on the scene on nine tab. And Dean, as always, thanks for coming in. My it's pleasure. Thanks for having me.